it, speaking of having a lot of photos out there, <laughs> there's somebody that is like probably the king of memes for being bored, and that is Ben Affleck. And I'm not even talking about the the Grammys meme. Have you seen the meme of him standing outside with a cigarette, looking like yeah. he wants to be on I a different life? <laughs> Ben Affleck is all of us these last few years with everything he's experiencing, <laughs> everything he's thinking, he's feeling. He got back together with the ex, thought this was going to solve everything. But sometimes, man, sometimes the problem is you and you just need to work on yourself. Well, have you seen the have you seen the clips and the photos from Ben Affleck uh, yeah. attending the Grammys with his now wife, Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, it's uh, poor Ben. <laughs> I I think that Ben is a super introvert, and that's why he looks like this every time he's put in a, like a super public situation. Mm. But if you go and watch him at a war show where he would attend with like Matt Damon back at the beginning of his career, wow. it's a whole different Ben. But I gotta tell you, Glenn, on my twenties, I was a social butterfly. Now, yeah, not so much. So maybe it's just a part of that as well. I get it. I used to go out, do a lot of things, socialize with a lot of people. And now, um, yeah, staying at home is where it's at. And I think for Ben, he just looks, yeah, I think he, again, he's all of us. He's just sort of annoyed to be out of the house wondering, is this even a good idea? Should I be doing this? <laughs> do you, you think he's really that? Or do you think it's JLo? No, no. I think, I think it's just Ben's dealing with some Ben stuff. Plus you're at this award show. Issa, imagine being in an event for hours and the cameras are going to be on you and you really can't be on your phone that time when you get bored. <laughs> so when you get bored, like you're thinking, can I just can I just take it out of my pocket and just look at it for like a minute? Or is that going to be weird? You know? No, J-Lo's going to slap him. Did you see yeah. the video of her like, like yeah. kind of like yelling at him right on camera? <laughs> yeah, so I get it, man. I get it. It's tough to sit through a long thing where you can't be on your phone. How do you feel about Benefer? It's tough, man. Um, I think that, uh, you know, again, I want Ben to be happy. I feel, I've, I've always felt a closeness to, to Ben Affleck. Uh, big fan of his since, since the beginning. And um, I think if they're finally making it work, it's actually kind of interesting, right? Because you think about the relationships you have when you're younger. It's right. sort of burn out. And I think that there is something kind of romantic and nice about the idea of when we were younger people, we couldn't make a go of this. But now that we're older and more mature we can get together and make this happen. I think that's actually a very nice thing. Now, that being said, everyone don't go break up with your significant other and get back together with your girlfriend from 2004. Uh, but no, it, it is a nice idea. The thing of it is, is a lot of people speculated and there was rumors that the main, one of the main reasons, and back then I do think that Benefer got way too much attention, but yeah. it was during that time where celebrity, chasing celebrities around was, you know, the thing to do. Uh, but a lot of people think that the attention is what really turned Ben off from this relationship. So why would he go back to it? I don't think that J-Lo is being chased around the way that she used to be chased around by paparazzi. So maybe I don't think they're getting the same amount of attention they used to back in that, during that time frame. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's that's good, but man, it's it's actually funny now in a way. How do you think Jennifer is dealing with the fact that Ben is the one that becomes these memes and he's the one everyone talks about? That's going to be an interesting twist for her. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she made a response on some on some of her social medias about it because it was like blowing up everywhere, you know, the memes about it. I think I I personally want Jennifer Lopez to be happy. I think that J Lo is a hopeful romantic and she mm. wants to be in love and i mean she has a, had a lot of failed relationships but the fact that she keeps trying is exactly what shows you that she believes in love and she believes in her happily ever after if it's ben affleck you know what you're right i do think what's meant to be is meant to be no matter what well, it's gonna happen right well perhaps but here's here's what i hope we get out of this is we need a sequel to that south park episode Yes, that's one of my favorite. We talked about this before. One of the best <laughs> South Park episodes of all time. Top three for me. Absolutely, I'm with you. So if oh we if God. we get if we so get a good. sequel to that, it will all be worth it. We're gonna review it. Whether yeah, it's on absolutely. my channel somewhere, we're gonna review it. <laughs> now I'm gonna as soon as we go off the air, I'm gonna go and watch it. <laughs> if you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. Otherwise, we'll start posting spoilers about your favorite new movies.